Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Algie and this is Sacred Libra where we talk all things Libra. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, make sure you guys are subscribed here and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you. All right, let's see what energy do we have for my Libras? My Libras, what energy? Your confidence is your key to success, and now it's time to take action. You have new moon in Aries and a new moon in Leo. All new moon, new beginnings. So for some of you guys, you're stepping into a new beginning where you're acting more. You're acting on your desires, on your wants, and a lot of you guys are moving. You're understanding that when you feel confident in life, you win in life. That's so crazy. That's been my discovery right now. So there's a lot of going on with confidence and there's a lot of fiery, fiery, fiery energy here. You have Aries and Leo, all new moons, all new beginnings, okay? All new attitudes, all right? Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have the answers you need are coming. For some of you guys, you definitely could feel like you're lost right now. You need some type of structure you need some type of guidance you need you need to be pulled back on course but some of you guys you can feel like you've lost your way you can feel like you've lost your um discipline you've lost your um what's the word you could just feel like you've lost your beat okay but look at the bigger picture you have full moon in sagittarius you have communication is key new moon in Gen Gen um, gemini and then you have step out of your comfort zone for so for some of you guys you're in a place you're at a particular point in life right now it's for you to step out of your comfort zone for some of you guys you're feeling very very uncomfortable you're feeling like you've lost something you're feeling like you're not yourself you're feeling like you need to get back on course and that this is the reason this is for you to step out not only step out but step out bigger and bolder than you did last time okay Now, let's get into your reading. The deck that I'm using today is going to be the Luna Soul Tarot deck. I had this in my um, last video. Somebody asked for the deck. Um, what was the name of the deck? So, I was like, next time, I'm going to make sure I show it. So, what the cards look like. They remind me of Pokemon. <laughs> they remind me of Pokemon. get into these cards what messages do we have for libra what messages do we have for libra don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel guys i greatly appreciate all of the support i really really do Some of you guys are finding your happiness within. For some of you guys, I don't want to say you would never, but the more you keep looking outside of yourself for your happiness, the more you'll never find it. Also for your confidence. The more you keep looking outside of yourself for your confidence, like you can change your hair all you want to, okay? You can buy new clothes all you want to, but it confidence comes from within. It's not about the clothes that you have. It's not about a certain weight that you are or a certain how big your muscles are or it's how, how nice and full your beard is. It's not about that. Confidence comes from within. So some of you guys need to stop searching and start looking within. Looking in the mirror. 
at your sales. What we have, we got the five of swords here. I don't know why I see this as something different. But for some of you guys, you could have been possibly the last one standing here. I feel like, I know this is somebody who had a hidden agenda, but I feel like for some of you guys, you have slayed the dragon. And I normally don't get that from this card, but it's just the, it's the illustration on this card. I just feel like for some of you guys, you have won the battle. For some of you guys, somebody could not get away with their hidden agenda. Or they could not um, um, pull a fast one on you. They could not do that. And for some of you guys, you were left to fight on all on your own. And that could also be the sneakiness. You were left to fight the battle. You got people hiding out. When the going got tough, they hid. And you stood up. And that, that could have been the hidden agenda. Like, they could have told you, like, you know, I'm riding with you. I'm down. But when stuff, when shit got real, they ran. You got the two of pentacles. For some of you guys, you could be weighing some type of options out. I feel like some of you guys could be feeling like you're all tied up in something here. Okay? You could be feeling like you're all tied up with something. You could be feeling like you need some type of balance in your life. You could also be weighing somebody's options out. Here goes the Six of Cups. I feel like this is extreme happiness. Also, I feel like this shows your growth. I feel like for some of you guys, you're trying to juggle someone. For some of you guys, this is close to home. For some of you guys, you could have helped someone grow. Or they could have helped you grow. And when the going got tough, you felt like you were all by yourself. But for some of you guys, you are also changing. You, you are trying to get to a place where you feel happy again you got the six of wands as well so you're trying to get to a place where you where you find your light again also the magician where you feel powerful again this is you stepping back into your power so for some of you guys you you definitely weighed it out you seen things for what they were and you decided to continue to either help somebody or aid someone even though a person wasn't there for you and with the six of wands, somebody, your recognition is about to get noticed. All that you've done is about to get noticed. The fact that you fought this war by yourself and the fact that you continue to help. Not that you fought it by yourself, but there, there were key people who said that they were going to help who didn't. Who just sat down and witnessed all that you've done. Some of you guys are getting your power back. You're not letting that stop you. You have people that are watching you. Possibly people that you help grow or people that, that, that were supposed to help you grow. They're definitely watching you, watching your every move. And that's all they did. They sat back and watched. Maybe, maybe, yeah, this may sound crazy. Don't get mad at me because y'all be doing... Maybe that person was so in awe with how much you did fight. They couldn't do nothing but sit back and watch. You got the Ten of Cups here. And then you got the Nine of Cups. Like, this is just full happiness. But for some of you guys, this was this was the sneakiness. And for you're not letting that hold you back anymore. You're regaining balance in your life after this threw you off course for a long, long time. Okay? Um, somebody is definitely watching you take back control. Take back control. 
for somebody they knew that you had this power, this magician power this whole time. Somebody knew this already. You just had to know it. Because damn would everybody else know if you don't know it yourself. I've seen the other thing is people don't see you through their eyes. They see you through your eyes. So the way that you see yourself, that's how other people are going to view you. So start seeing yourself as as, as powerful as you are. Start seeing yourself as the magician. Start seeing yourself as the star of your life. Because people are only going to see you as much as you see yourself. Okay? You're happy though. I'm feeling like I'm I'm finally that you're happy and you're not you're, you're not feeling guilty, okay? You have the emperor moving in action. It's time for action. And then you have the nine of cups, satisfied, rewards, riches, your wishes coming true, being fully fully satisfied in life. Let me see. I'm going to do something different here do something different here let's see what we really have here okay if this reading is resonating with you make sure you get this reading a big thumbs up tell me more about the five of swords For some of you guys, you dealt with somebody who was cheating. For some of you guys, this says the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aim when near. So for some of you guys, defeating this type of battle or defeating the battle was one of this this is this is actually what you wanted to do. It's just that it hurt you to know that you were fighting by yourself. For a lot of you guys, this could have something to do with some type of relationship. got the two of this the two of pentacles for some of you guys you could have been stuck in the middle of a fight and two people sat back and they sat back you also have some type of good tidings so some of you guys you definitely um put back balance for some of you guys you reap the benefits of being the warrior in a situation being the one who stood up in a situation, you reap your benef benefits. Happiness will follow you. For some of you guys, there was a threat here. You got the flames card. This is this neutralizes the evil of somebody else and instead brings you some type of happiness. I feel like this is because for some of you guys, this is somebody who helped you grow or somebody who you helped grow um, or who you helped in a time of need. And that's just not right on no levels for this person to feel some type of way if they helped you grow or if this person or you help this person grow also i feel like this person was 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 trying to to um attack this is the um this warns us against assault which threaten and will occur, occur sooner or later according to the distance from the person so i feel like there was some type of threat that was supposed to come. I felt like for somebody, somebody did not fight because they wanted you. They did not help because they wanted you to be taken out by whatever was happening. Or they wanted you to be down more than you were down. They wanted you to fall on bad terms. For some of you guys, this was a plan. But instead of attacking, instead of this, you get 
bombarded with some type of good news instead. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Children signify friendly disposition and gentleness. If you have some children, they'll definitely be getting recognized in the spotlight. Also, some children could be traveling. If you have some children, they're doing good. They're playing. They're well. They're in good health. Okay? Also, there's some people who are gentle with you and very friendly. Look, you got the fish. This um, symbolizes riches through stocks. Some of you guys, you're, you're, um, you're finding out your power. You're making things work with you. You're investing in so many different ways, but you got your power back. This was just a shorthand. For some of you guys, you realize this was a part of someone's plan to make you feel alone, to make you feel like you were the only one out there, okay? Somebody is walk looking at you with, look, I can't make this up. You got the page of swords. Then you have the amour. Amour is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. Somebody's watching you. They're watching you. They're watching all that you accomplishment, all that you accomplished. They're watching you take power back in your life. They're watching whatever riches that you're doing. They're watching you invest well because this could possibly be possibly somebody who looks up to you. Somebody who looks up to you. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. This represents a lady. For somebody, this is a woman. This is a woman's fortune. A woman is happy. Very, very happy. A woman could be very, very happy for you. Or this could be you. You could be the woman that's very, very happy. So you got this emperor while you're moving into action in life there's definitely some snakes that are here okay and this is coming from your recognition so as you grow in life as your finances grow as your um, confidence grow as your business grow whatever it is that you're working on your enemies grow but we already know that right tell me more about the nine of cups and it's time for you to move and, and for you to see those enemies so you can start separating yourself. So make sure you be, you're be you praying for a discernment, okay? You have the tree, good health. Um, their flowers, uh, their flowers fulfillment of the highest hopes. This is your fulfillment of the highest hopes. And then you have the fulfillment card, the nine of cups. So for some of you guys, you get to you get to that level of success that you've been dreaming of getting to. Okay? You have the key. This is a certain sign of success. Okay? A certain sign of your success. But for some of you guys, you have to realize the thing that was meant to hurt you didn't hurt you. I think I said this. What broke you, built you in the last one. The thing that was meant to hurt you didn't hurt you. It was a blessing in disguise for you to see exactly how strong you are. And exactly how loving you are. And exactly how blessed you are. And how much um, God's favor is on you. Okay. What messages do we have for Libra? The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? What past hurts are you clinging on to, Libra? Are you still clinging on to the people who had hidden agendas, who weren't there for you, who weren't your friends? Are you still dimming your light to fit in with these people? Are you still acting like you don't know what it is? I did you are you like the jig is up? You know what it is. Are you still acting like you don't know? Are you dimming yourself to fit in? Are you clinging on to the old you with their life? And then we have the inner temple. Make sure you're not getting caught up in the outside and you're staying you're staying in tune with what's sacred in the inside of you. Calling your soul tribe. You don't have to do this alone. Calling your support. Call on your fellow Libras. 
and you have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Raise your vibration. Dance. Turn on some music, literally. And say yes to life. Just say yes. Say yes to life. Okay? Okay, Libra, that is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.